Joe, so who are we here with? Bullshit. <laughs> we'll talk shit to anyone. Joe is built like a Grinch. Fuck you. I need full balls. And now the uh, 50 Cent music. Go. <laughs> what up it's your boy yeah. back with <laughs> what's up everyone where he did i fucking hate those youtube videos <laughs> what's up everyone we're here where else are you gonna be <laughs> Especially like those fucking people that are opening up Pokemon cards, those fucking cringe ass fucking dudes. Like, I'd rather just show you guys. See, like, boom, before we get into before it, before we even get into the fucking podcast, let go. me show you my fucking master set, dude. Let me fucking flex on you hoes. Flex on them. <laughs> but before we get started, let's go to our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking flex on everyone. Okay, we you yep. have every card known to man. Yeah. You get it. Yes. Good job, guy. Zoom in. Yeah. <laughs> show that camera right there, that one. If you're going to show That's anything, one. show that camera right there. There you go. <laughs> show them. All right, so Joe, who are we here with? <laughs> intro. That's part of the intro. Joe, who are you? <laughs> B-Rye. Hey, how's it going? From where? Orlando. What? Oh, Which I didn't know shop? he was going to speak for me. <laughs> Make me say it. Make me say it out loud. Sad fam. Yeah, we're... Um, Make you say it out loud. <laughs> <clears throat> Coming the all the saddest way from, boys in town. <laughs> Coming all the way from Orlando, uh, from Sad Fam. Uh, it's a pretty decent shop. It's whatever. I bet it's all right. <laughs> no, Dude, I'd love amazing. to be able to get in your uh, origins, your origin story. Yeah, of course. But, I'm um, assuming you sent me over here because I look like him. Yeah, that's we're, true. We, we look like we're related. Right, it's gonna stay together, bro. Put, <laughs> but put uh, B Rise uh, glasses on. Oh God, here we go. I should wear glasses, actually. Wait. There you go. Yeah, but you have like fucking weird uh, ones. Wait, why are my sunglasses? He has, he's got like bland ones. Yeah, Ray Bans because I'm a hipster. You won't be Fuck able to see me. You yeah, are I'm blind. blind. I'm right, legally so blind. Joe, who are we here with? <laughs> Well, hello, puppet. We're gonna. <laughs> they got extremely racist, really. Good. <laughs> um, well, uh, before we even get your origin story, we were just talking about best gifts. Yeah, uh, that we got from clients. Yeah, so um, I've gotten a couple of gifts. First of all, I have uh, in my in my section over at the shop. I have a bunch of Captain America pops, and they're this. all different so and there's a lot of clients that they'll go to you know that bookcase full of cap pops and they'll look at which one i don't have and then next time they come in they'll get me a new one and i'm like i don't even collect pops no it's not no i don't collect pops but uh, people have just given these to me and i'm like all right whatever so now i got a cap pop collection um but a couple of weeks ago i was tattooing i believe a pokemon trainer and a trico on this girl's thigh fucking love that yeah and she's she was super nice she came in the first thing she gave me was like this big bag and in it was literally this big i'm not i'm not even kidding uh stained glass rowlet and rowlet's my favorite pokemon so um it was stained glass like a church and it, she she welded like she did the soldering and everything. I don't know how she did it. And I was like, "Do you sell these?" And she was just like, "Well, on occasion." I was like, "You need to dude, do that's, this." Yeah, that's badass, dude. <laughs> it was amazing. Don't know what a rally is, but God damn well, it, Joe, whatever, dude. dude. You're always just fucking up the vibe. I mean, I'm. I'm what I'm is it? Here. It's always the, the clients always have these extraordinary talents. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I remember the. Um, uh, Lando, uh, that I did the uh, perfect cell on. Yep, brought in these crazy like three D printed stuff and uh, the DBZ thing they yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, so good. And uh, I was like, bro, where, 
where are you doing these? Do you sell them? That's number one thing. I feel like yeah. a piece of shit. Uh, are you making money off this? Because if not, you should be. Don't get <laughs> wrong. <laughs> At least yeah, I don't, because <clears throat> they come in with all these like crazy talents. It's like, yeah, uh, on the side, I'm an acrobat. And I'm like, the oh, fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, she's like, she's made a stained glass Pokemon. And I was like, badass, if you dude. made, like, don't even make it to order just make the ones that make you happy just like make like starter pokemon or yeah. like marvel characters and those will make you money yep ultimately that's what i started doing i just started drawing cubone so Cubone's one of the everyone, best the guy everyone loved the boy mm-hmm. the bone boy. The boy um question though is so, uh i mean do you feel like how many uh I don't want to get too personal with it. Like I was gonna say, like how many clients like bring you money and then also bring you gifts. Like I I made a, a hilarious I mean, I think it's hilarious, a hilarious joke. Um just because artists always talk about Instagram algorithm like it's a fucking boogeyman. Mm-hmm. And um he's out to get me. Mm-hmm. I've fucked up I somehow. Fucked he's up. coming after me. I don't know what to do. Clients help. Yeah. Clients help me. And then, um, but I, I just made like a joke, like Instagram algorithms fucking up. Please bring me donuts. And <laughs> I shit you not, bro. Like, I'm sure if you've seen it, like every fucking client that comes in the vault brings us donuts. Now I'm, I'm very new to this, right? Because yeah. I've spent the last better part of like 10 years behind a computer. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> branding marketing so like i don't i never had any relations with actual customers mm-hmm. so to to fast forward and do this and see um just these clients like come in and be the appreciation so is like nothing else and, i've ever seen and like i made it was literally a joke like about no matter what you do just bring me donuts yeah and the next thing I know is I'm getting DMs of all the all of my clients. That was like, a year ago. It was a year ago. <laughs> it was a year ago, and, and still we're still going getting. Strong. But I I don't mean I don't mean like donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. No offense. They're going out their way. They're going out there. They are going out their way. Uh, yeah, I drove an extra 45 minutes. I hope that's cool. Oh, I'm, I'm, tw- <laughs> Dude, I'm five minutes for real. late. I'm two and a half minutes late to my my appointment because I drove an hour and a half to this sugar place to get you these vegan donuts because Forget. we have one vegan <clears throat> and and then and then like they know they've studied us and i'm like dude i'm not deserving of any mm-hmm. of this stuff. no and that is the only part that i feel like i have imposter syndrome is when people are like yo i fucking love you and i'm like no i need to hear more about what you're doing yeah. I, yeah. I want you tell me more about what your life is like I, yeah i don't want you to don't I mean, I, I just draw Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm like, you know, like, thank you so much for the support. But like, how the fuck can I support you? Like, what yeah. else are you doing? Yeah. Uh, so that long winded statement is like, um, do you, I, like, I don't feel awkward from it, but just like you said, it's hard for you to get compliments and not know what to do. Yeah. What, what has it been like just, just um, spending, a year and a half like tattooing and getting like the praise that you are getting. Um, it's very surreal. Uh, just because I don't normally, I'm, I'm not one to get praise about anything that I do or used to anyway. Like before I started tattooing, people were like, yeah, it's Brian. He's a cool guy, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, whatever. He's just a normal dude. Um, and once I started tattooing, people were like, Oh, this is like you're you're progressing really fast, um, and yeah, I've only been doing it for for a year and a half, but um, I, I do have an art background. You know, I it's not like I I fucking came out the pussy drawing fucking Picasso. <laughs> nice, fucking love you know? it. pussy Picasso. <laughs> new oh, new name, <laughs> trademark. Done. Yeah, you know, so like I, it's it, it it was something that I have throughout the years have kind of grown and, and kind of taught myself. I'm, I'm a self-taught artist. I never went to school for any of it. I kind of just looked at something and then I was like, that's cool. I want to do that. And then it just kind of went from there. Um, as for the praise that comes along with it, it's, it's really flattering. 
I really do understand that. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, I'm not like incredible. Like I, I'm literally just drawing anime characters and, you know, comic book characters. And I know it means a lot for a lot of people, but on the other side of it, it's like, you know, I, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how to respond to it when people are like, you, you're amazing. You're, and I was like, thanks. That's it, dude. Dude, you know, thank, like, you. Just, like, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what to man. say. I'm not going to be like, you goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I put on my fucking shades and then I'm out the door. You know, I'm not going to do that. You we know, should. so I, uh, it's, it's, it's a very surreal, it's, it's very welcoming. I do appreciate some of it. Um, but at the same time, I'm not like this huge, I'm not a fucking God, you know, like I, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, no, it's, uh, I think the, like, I've, I've seen it with, with tattoo artists and other tattoo artists for sure. Um, like working with like Timmy B and stuff, but like, mm -hmm. as I'm diving into the, the anime community, I mean, dude, the support system just everywhere is through the roof. I just want to see, um, I just want to see that reciprocated with, and I'm not saying there's a lack of it, but I do want, I, again, we were talking about inclusive, mm -hmm. um, like those same people that are giving us support. I'm like, I'm giving you a service. I'm just tattooing you for mm -hmm. something for money. Like yeah. how, how else can I make you feel you more involved? Back? Yeah. Um, and it's, it is one thing that Mike and I, I've seen it on the back end. Mike has been amazing. Mike has built a, a community, dude. When I was just starting to get to know Mike, um, it was all the people that it was like a lot of the clients that were were praising him, and and he's like, dude, we got movie night. We're all gonna watch an anime together, on, and then on Discord and all that other stuff. And I'm like, mm -hmm. holy shit! Like he's actually doing those things that. Uh, I believe that artists should do with, with their clients, you know, with those people that are giving them such support, you know, mm -hmm. and, and he's holding all these events, but it was definitely cool to see him do a lot of things on like discord because all those clients got to know one another. And that's kind of what we're doing here at, at vault. It's just happening or, organically where um, like someone who gets posted, we usually tag the client and then other clients start to follow that client. So it is mm -hmm. cool to see this fucking community, man. Like, yeah, the anime community is is pretty legit. Um, I always thought it was a little odd from the outside looking in, and then once you're a part of it, you're like, oh, everybody's just like super supportive. So, okay. yeah, um, it's it's like I said, it's like super surreal. So to have people, you know, saying like, oh, like this is like this guy's like like super dope, and then they repost your work, and you're like, thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Holy seriously, shit. it's really yeah. cool. Um, again, like just me now being more customer facing, it's like, it's, it's pretty wild to just, uh, cause it only happened in like the past like month where I, where I started aiming more towards doing Pokemon because that's the things that I like to do. Mm -hmm. Um, but to, to see that support system, I'm like, holy shit, you guys are making it happen for me. I'm, I'm posting something. However, like you, you're becoming that megaphone Mm -hmm. um organically for me and i i don't know i don't know how to say thing like, i want to do a customer appreciation day i think that'd be kind of yeah fun we to spoke do. about it recently didn't we but it's just like man dude i want to be able to do a lot of things like it's it's like um it's like word of mouth on steroids which is which is awesome so yeah definitely shout out to clients uh, amazing clients dude, I, and sure. steroids and steroids shout out to steroids <laughs> 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 and all that. no i, I bust out his <clears throat> fucking sword God damn it. there's definitely something to say about I think our clientele and, and, and I'm sure that it's a similar crowd that gone through to you guys. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like I've ever seen working in any shop I've ever been in before. Nothing. The the return clientele and the loyalty between those clients is I've never seen anything like it. Dude, it's insane. It's insane. Like I I didn't know that existed. That's why I said like, oh we need to start like um, I don't know if you saw this client, that's him on the wall right there. Yeah, the guy oh, came yeah, I, know. Yeah. <laughs> I I started as soon as I walked into Vault, I was just like, wow, these are like all the artists that are on the wall. And then I came back into the lobby and I'm like, who the fuck are all these people? <laughs> yeah, we got it. And that's just a small thing we can do. <laughs> They're just no, like seriously. regulars, pretty yeah. much. But yeah. dude, it's like going back to the going back to the donut thing, the one that'll always stand out for me, and I forget her name, and if she's watching, I'm sorry. 
um, we had a delivery of donuts, like a couple of boxes of donuts turn up one day. And we're like, okay, like the usual. Yeah. We kind of did the rounds in the shop. Hey, who ordered donuts? Nobody ordered these donuts. Turns out they were from a client that she'd received a bonus from work. Cat. And cat. Was it cat? Yeah. Yeah. She received a bonus at work and purely for from the goodness of her heart, she was like, hey, I received a bonus at work. I wanted to reward some of my favorite people. She sent us donuts. She wasn't in that day. She had nothing to do with us because of this. It? She received this bonus and wanted to do that thing for us. And it's stuff like that's that, incredible. dude, that's so... Yeah, it's unreal. It's, it's crazy, it's unreal. man, that yeah. people think that, like we were even a thought in our mind at that moment. And there's something as simple as donuts. Like, I remember when we got them, like, I made everyone's day like so much better. It's crazy, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, I think it's the fact that um, a lot of people are like, man, I wonder what they're up to. I wonder what they're doing. I'm like, fuck, Shout like I, I like to be able to do the same thing. You know, like I feel like I'm maybe I don't I don't do that as much. You know, my the guy who shaves my head. I'm not fucking <laughs> I'm not on his should be. You know, yeah. but maybe I should take him down. Maybe, maybe maybe I should set up some stuff. And then I think that that's <clears throat> that's where this whole thing of paying it forward Pay, goes yeah. goes a long way. Say. It does go a long way. Um yeah, I, I just I don't know. I wanted to talk about clients for a little bit because it's fucking kind of cool. Speaking of <laughs> they're the best. <laughs> there was a really I mean, there was one time you know how like every every yeah. once every once in a while you'll hear a story of like yeah I was at the line at Starbucks and the guy in front of me paid for my order yeah, yeah. and then I was like well I gotta pay it forward and then <laughs> pay for the person you get stuck in a well, chain uh, so how I was, I was at not Starbucks. <laughs> no 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 <laughs> you'd be that guy that you be, you'd be that guy that orders so like thirty bucks I was, for I was at I was in line at McDonald's. This was like a couple of years ago, and I was not in a good place financially. <laughs> no. And there was this guy who who was in front of me, and he he paid it forward, and he bought my meal. So I look at the girl, and it looks like she has like this look on her face, like yeah, you know. And now you got to do the same. And I was like, wow, he really paid for me. And she was, and she was just like, yeah, he paid for it. I was like, thanks. You know, I'll just take my food. See you, bye. <laughs> Dude, nothing wrong and with I'm that, bro. Uh, nothing wrong with I'm that. I'm going to break the chain right now. Yeah, you need cause... to. Yeah, there's nothing wrong that, with that, dude. Uh, that's probably a logistical nightmare for Starbucks or McDonald's. Oh, for sure. Who's paid yeah, for what? Yeah, because you have to the pay, especially when they do two lines. So I'm sure that they've tried to break yeah, but the cycle Yeah, but she gave me like a, she gave me the side eye. Yeah, uh, she was just, she yeah, was she was just like, for yeah, he paid for it. So the best like, stories, <laughs> best stories start off with, um, I was in a bad place financially. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the drive for McDonald's, but yeah. I couldn't afford it. <laughs> so I said, I, mean, I got like, these cheeseburgers, I like, man. <laughs> I feel like he, it, it was like a tax break for me. <laughs> there you go, bro. Yeah. Right off, a right off. Yeah, you pay it, pay it forward five years later. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, dude, there's no, you know, there's no that's rules. What, that's what, that. Yeah, paying it forward means when you get a chance. Yeah. And that's... Uh, uh, that's but when they, when they throw it in your lap and it feels forced, I feel like, man... Yeah, because then it's like, done for the wrong, then it's it's the wrong just, reasons. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, like, I, I was caught between a rock and a hard place because I was like, <clears throat> you know, I, I want to. You know, but I'm not going to tell the cashier. I'm going to be like, hey, just letting you know, the people behind me, um, they're still going to pay for their meal, <laughs> but just let them know that I wanted to pay for Dude, it. Dude, free McDonald's, <laughs> take it every day. I drive off. I'll take free McDonald's any day. I yeah. drive off because I pay it forward with something less expensive, so then that way. Well, that's why you always got to be smart. You got to ask, hey, what did they have? You don't want to be stuck with that $50 Mackey's order, dude. Oh yeah, like there's like a fucking minivan full of kids. If it's like a me. cheeseburger and something, I'm like, at it. <laughs> That's fine. Fifty dollars in McDonald's money is a lot of food. <laughs> That's a lot of Mackey's. That's that's yeah, like I fucking order it every night. Like a fat ass. So I haven't had McDonald's in a while because my fiance and I are trying to go vegan or not go vegan, but like that's include awesome. more uh, vegan dishes. Mm -hmm. And that's why you just said that full plate of shrimp. Listen. <laughs> that won't be in there. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. What about the mozzarella sticks? Air out my dirty laundry. It's okay. <laughs> um, I'm Carry going on. for more of a pescatarian. There we go. There we go. <laughs> but like, she's introducing more vegan options into our into our stuff. So like, I feel like when when I eat fast food, it doesn't really agree with me as much anymore because it's That's not fair. in my system mm -hmm. as much so yeah i'm just 
Shout out Culver's, it's, it's best no fast food in the, in the business. I've never had Culver's. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what that is. The best. Oh, what? Culver's. The don't know what that is. Best what that is. fast food burger on the planet. Don't care what anybody says. It's a from McDonald's. British? Britain? No, they're from Wisconsin. They do cheese curd. How the you fuck am I supposed to know about curd. that? Yeah. Have you been to Canada? No. <laughs> I want to go. Like Christian tell you about poutine. <laughs> and beavers, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. I, fucking know. I don't know what yep. else is Angry in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jen, you want to call it. Jess and I watching that the other night. <laughs> Great. Angry Great beavers? That shit, yeah. That was my shit OG. when I was, uh, when I was We were watching it for two minutes and we were like, we were like, Angry yeah. Beavers. We couldn't do it though. We were like, we're growing up, and it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't same. matter. It doesn't, no, you no, drop Pokemon on people. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not lying. Like, if you watch a sh- watch an episode of Angry Beavers, you'd be like, it's kind of fucking boring. Really? Is it? Damn. Yeah. We we were, oh, we were, we know we were like we put it on to watch it. You think that nostalgia is gonna hit, but it never did. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I I don't. Hey think Arnold will always hit because it's always got. Great, I think great like that, like Dexter. Dexter's always gonna hit for me personally. Love yeah, but Dexter. you only remember Recess. Ed, Ed and Eddie. That was my show. I've never seen that. Show. I liked it, what? but it wasn't one of my go to. Never a Cartoon Network. That's Cartoon Network, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was strictly, I was always, strictly Nickelodeon. I was always yeah. Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. When people talk about like Disney. Shows I'm like I, I didn't no I didn't have Disney as a kid we didn't have that on cable so it's like we had Nickelodeon because it was free. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if what's, what's 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 the one below poor? <laughs> Look at him being poor. Poor. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, mom. So bad. <laughs> it's a weird and bad financial situation. So we only had Nickelodeon. <laughs> Freeview. For, you guys don't know about Freeview. We didn't anyway. have. I don't know what the free review is, but yeah, I was it's exactly what it sounds that, like. It was free. free. We had an illegal box, but that's something that, that my family would it's do. Free, free view is that's when you have like basic cable, and then when you go to like channel like three hundred and some odd whatever the fuck, and it's a porn channel. Yeah, boy. And you kind of see the boobs. The, uh, the, the no, no, the no, 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 no. I had, I had something that was called a magic box, and so for all you young fucking kids, have no idea what what a cable. How box old are you? Thirty four. Thirty three. We're about the same. I'm 30. <laughs> no, I don't he mean you. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair, you watching. like fucking eyed me. I was like, bro. <laughs> for, for, for all of you young kids who have no fucking clue, uh, it was that porn, well, that was called the Spice Channel. Spice, nice. And that was not your soft HBO after dark porn. No, it wasn't like that, that old lady trying to tell you. Gritty. That really? was a nitty gritty, just pounding badge. <laughs> Jess, if this plays, Jess gonna get so oh, it's gonna play. This is the but, this is all going but on. this is the best part. Um, my stepdad, uh, Santos Santos, what a boy, uh, best steaks in town. Santos Santos is his name. <laughs> yeah, yeah first last. You can never trust him. Dude, he's a fucking gangster. Two of okay. He's cool, dude. Um, he had that magic box, so you hit that button, and all of a sudden it turned the fuzziness away, dude, and you got that channel. Really? Yep. So when everyone was sleeping, I would fucking I would hit that magic there. button. I would hit that magic button. Yeah. Sick. On that note, give me a sec while I reset all the cameras. Everybody oh, take, gotta everybody take a break. <laughs> all right, we're back. <laughs> After that short ad break, brought to you by Anime Inc. The only anime. Right, can you music? <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Anime Inc. Go, 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 go. This is your birthday. We don't party like this. This is your birthday. We gon' sip from Charlie. This is your birthday. And you know we don't do much. It's not your birthday. Found me in the club. Bottles drinking on the club. Business in the Guinness. Um, those are words. Where to next? Those are words. Yeah. Well, we were talking about um, soft call porn. Yeah. Respect. <laughs> We've all been there. Channel five after midnight. Sleeping over at Glenn's house. Glenn Mitchell, if you're watching. Well. <laughs> Sleeping at your house watching porn after midnight, Channel 5. Let's go. Channel 5? Again, we were That's poor. Like we had five channels, bro. Channel 5 is Fox News. Yeah, yeah. like Fox News. No, Fox we Fox. literally had five channels when I was a kid. That was wow. it. But that was in, in, in British land, right? Yeah, in the, in the British land, in the motherland. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's where Robin Hood's from. That is where That's Robin Hood's from. from. Yeah. Men in tights. Mm-hmm. No discrimination. And you want to toast? Yeah. <laughs> what? From the Ninja. Latest on the Ninja. Uh, well, I had a question. Um, For me? No. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> about you. Uh, we were talking about at dinner of 
comparison to the tattoo industry. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, I, it's, it's funny because like well, when we were testing the podcast out, we were talking about this naturally. Um, but it was... Get that thing in front of your mouth. There you go. Um, <laughs> uh, I was saying Instagram is this fucking infamous boogeyman. Mm-hmm. The algorithm. Mm-hmm. Like, where is it? Comparisons. Like, I never understood it, right? But it doesn't mean I don't I think know. anybody does. <coughs> but there's I nothing to understand. It has its ways, but it but it it is, it is a tool nonetheless. Like, I've been able to meet. Um, like, I'm I'm learning Japanese. I'm learning to speak Japanese, write Japanese. My closest friend is is Japanese, who teaches me how to draw literally every single day. You know, um, I would have not met him if it wasn't for Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think of all these wonderful things that Instagram brings us, including the the, the tattoo industry mm-hmm. advancing because of Instagram solely. Obviously, it's mainstream because of the talent, but you don't really see the talent that I, that's out there in, in, unless it was for Instagram. Like mm-hmm. you see all those European artists, those Russian copy machines, you know, mm-hmm. Um and I think that's what started elevating everyone's work, uh, communicating with one another. So, like, obviously, it has such great pros. Um, I'm not going to say it doesn't have its cons of what it feeds you, but it does feed you a lot of things that you feed yourself. Yeah. Um, so I wanted you to be able to speak on that of comparisons and your own, um, your own. I don't want to say issues, but experience. Your own experience with comparisons in the tattoo industry. So, okay. So, yeah, it could be a good thing and a bad thing because you're being fed a lot of um, art and media and it's it gets straight right to your phone. It gets sent right to your phone. So you can see pretty much whatever somebody is doing from across the world and you can see the kind of work that they're putting out. And it's good because you can find your niche or you could find uh, inspiration from other artists um, but on the flip side, you could always find yourself going down this rab- uh, rabbit hole uh, where you find yourself comparing uh, your art to people have been, that have been in the game for, you know, X number of years. Um, example, like myself, I've only been doing this, as a matter of fact, I don't know when this video comes out, but I my year anniversary is March 1st, so I'm pretty much... A year insane. Um, into tattooing officially oh, ever it? since my, uh, you know, graduating my apprenticeship. Um, so I've only been doing this officially for a year. And then I always kind of find myself comparing myself to the likes of, you know, Mike and Michaela and Simon, you know, <laughs> which is ridiculous and Vatic and like they're, these people have been doing this for a large number of years and I'm here as like a newbie Mm -hmm. and I'm still trying to find my way. And I'm constantly, every time I do a tattoo, I do like the final wipe and I'm like, (laughs) fucking, I'm amazing. And then I (laughs) post it on Instagram. Oh, great example. There was one time I was posting a Zenitsu from Demon Slayer. And I was about to post it. And who posts it uh, a, a Zenetsu right before me? Fucking Simon K. Bell. Yep. And I see his post and I look it over and I'm like, cool, it's perfect. And I'm complete shit. And I <laughs> didn't even post it that day. Even though the the piece that I had was solid. Yep. Like I, I felt like I did a good job. Um I saw that and it made me scared to post it that day. Um, And it's instances like that, that make me figure I have to search. I have to work on myself uh, pretty much. Instagram is a double edged sword. Like it's going to feed you a lot of good info about other artists or other artwork, whether you look at fan art or, you know, what have you. But at the same time, 
um, you might find yourself comparing yourself to people that have, you know, been doing this for years and years and years. And then, you know, you think negatively of your work, even though what you put out might actually be good. It was something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, but, uh, good. I'm no, sorry. no, no, no. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah. So, but my, um, I don't want to say my my issue, my issue with it is that uh, I mean, um, I mean, shout out to all the fucking idiots who are like, yo, this is how your shit your shit gets seen more if you do this, if you follow these fucking ones. Changes every that, fucking yeah, week. Pisses thing. me off. Um, but you're right. Instagram shows you the things that you're interested in. Correct. Yeah. And on the other side is is what you do with that though. Mm-hmm. What and, and and I'm not. Like it's uh, it's very stupid of me to be like, man, I can't believe you compare yourself to other artists. Just have fun and do what you do. Yeah, it's easier said than done. I mean, like mm-hmm. you're like watching like every time you do a tattoo where you, you don't see that it's solid, and then Mike will post something, um, and you're like, dude, like I don't. How can I need to get there? Like, how do I? How do yeah. I get there right away? And it's like, dude, it's not, it's not a short race. It's, it's definitely not. <laughs> and that's like, okay. And that's okay. But, but, but like, I, what do you, what do you think? I, I think that people don't give themselves enough credit, but I think where they look for credit is their clients, mm-hmm. um, which I do think is a, it's a great support system, but your clients are not there to give you extra praise and extra likes. Right. So when, when I see someone being like, I feel down today. Can you, can you go and give this post some love? Like I get that, but that's a serotonin rush. That's temporary that you do not need. Mm. What you need is, is to get, how do you get your mind right? Where you know that this is, this is your journey and your journey alone and to not be too hard on yourself and not need that temporary serotonin rush. Um, So, I might not be the right person to ask that because I deal with anxiety and ADHD. So um, a lot of the stuff that happens to me, you know, I might take differently than others. Um, But what I do find is that, you know, the artists that I do look up to, um, I constantly find myself comparing myself to. um, Whereas, you know, I'll go in for a tattoo and then somebody walks in through the door with a stained glass <laughs> fucking rowlet and they appreciate my art for what it is. And that like speaks volumes, mm-hmm. you know, yep. and it makes, it does make me feel like super appreciated um, as an artist. Like I, I would have never even thought to ask for something like mm-hmm. that like of course the yeah. fact that i have a captain america pop collection yeah is a testament to how many people that have yeah. like seen that and be like he's gonna appreciate this mm-hmm. you know yeah. and it means it really does mean a lot to me you know and the people that i tattoo they they you know walk out of that door you know knowing that they got a piece from me and they don't even care like they're they're just like yeah this is this is the best tattoo he's ever done and that's it like I got a piece from B Rye you know and it makes me feel good and then on the flip side you know I'll go home and I will like I'll feel amazing and then I'll just start scrolling on Instagram <laughs> or TikTok now because TikTok yeah. TikTok's a God. huge thing and I'll just scroll and I'll just see these fucking masterpieces yeah. And I'm like, oh, I get it, dude. I'm worthless. But beauty is in the eye of the beholder, you know? And you are your harshest critic. So I feel like, you know, I have to stop being so harsh on myself. And I really have to look inwards for that growth to finally shine through uh, for myself. Because mm. um, I have everybody on every side telling me that my art works good. Yeah. And then it's literally just myself that I'm like, yeah, but it's not, you know what I mean? So I'm like, I feel like I'm, Oh, I'm, which is, I get it in my opinion, which is okay. I just think that, um, when you're deteriorating from it is that then when it's, it's not good. Yeah. 
but it is okay to be just like we talked about at the restaurant was um there are a lot of tattoo artists who are five and six years in who are they don't do those things and they should <laughs> too yeah. comfortable yeah it's when you get comfortable that too comfortable it's, it's, yeah it's it becomes a problem because then you don't see any growth mm-hmm. yeah um, when it becomes a paycheck correct when it becomes just a paycheck in yeah. which i don't know how to i don't know how to address that like i understand doing things for money but but also like the, i feel like you're doing yourself with the service you're, you're doing i think that's the main the thing service. because it's it's you're even putting ha- your heart into it. That's the thing, because it's it's not even about shitting on somebody that that like, hey, some people want to go to work because they need to get paid, and that's I think that's okay. So to some people, that's how it's going to be in life. Their job is their income, and it it ends there. But I feel like in this industry, I think you owe it to yourself as well as the client, if not more so the client, to make sure that it remains more than that. Yeah, hundred and ten percent. Yeah. And, and every time has to be 110. It has to I be. I think this is one of the, I mean, if you're a barber and you're like, yeah, I'm just chilling for the day, just getting by, like yeah. you're, we're, we're putting something. So I'm saying this isn't, this something. isn't, yeah. this like, isn't serving tables and drinks for a living. Like yeah. I've been there. You can leave that shit at the door and walk away and see it the next shift and, and kind of take yeah, it as you, you want. Have, this, have an off day. Yeah. This, this requires you present yeah. always 100%. I just don't like to see, and this is this is like i mean this is such a thin line mm-hmm. i just see it i see a lot of artists that seek val they seek uh false validation through clients just because they know that, that support system's there mm-hmm. um or follower account that's a big one oh, huge dude, ridiculous bro, i can't even get like their worth is through social media which is insane i mean mm-hmm. i have I have a, I don't, I don't, dude, I don't know what video game tax is at. I don't know what anime <laughs> is at. I don't know what electric, I don't know what any of those things are at because I don't give a fuck. All yeah. I know is that when I'm ready to post something, it's cool that those followers get to see some content. Yeah. And it's like that for Nuke Milk too. Dude, I cannot tell you from, from a thousand followers what, what I'm, what I'm at right now because you just enjoy it while it's there. Mm-hmm. Like, if someone has twenty more thousand followers of me, what difference what, does it make? What does that give them? Does well, that give them more worth? No, it doesn't. Though there's there's a there's a fine line between like I I appreciate and I just hit sixteen k today and I appreciate every single one of my followers yeah. and um, it's still fucking ridiculous that sixteen thousand people are <laughs> following me and I'm like I don't know where all these people are coming from. Um, and I'm not saying that those people don't matter because they do. Um, but I am saying that, you know, regardless of how many followers you do or don't have, that doesn't sell your worth as an artist. Yeah, there are people absolutely. that have one, 2,000 followers. I was actually speaking to, um, fuck, I forgot her name, but it's th- she's an artist in Israel right now. And she has like 3,000 followers. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to check out her work. Her work is fucking phenomenal. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. and then I messaged her. I was like, your work is great. Yeah. Yeah. We see it every day. <laughs> like, what um, the hell? Again, and shout it was out. just like a diamond in the rough kind of situation. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to, and, to people like Scotty. Scotty was just with us. Oh, like, yeah. I think he's at like two and a half thousand. Which should be way more. I and it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> I, I just don't, it's and this is a message for a lot of artists that feel like they're struggling with, with social media is that if one, if you're getting booked up, if you're booked up three, four months in advance, stop worrying about your following. Account. That's it. You know, yeah. For, for, for there's sitting pretty, there's, I mean, that's there's, the real there's, ta- there's tattoo artists that are having issues getting booked up. Um, and uh and i told people it's funny i i said like i said normalize saying your books are open tell people your books are open don't be nervous don't be there's no shame in day, wanting to yeah. work harder no no I've, sh- tried, I've had that conversation too no many shame times in not being booked up either it, mm-hmm. it happens it happens when you first start some you know like um and then i remember a shop messaged me it was like it, it was just a just a shop manager he didn't know shit mm-hmm. um 
and he was like, man, I thought everybody was booked up. Even the, even the shitty shops are booked up. I remember that. Yeah, even the shitty shops are booked up where I'm at. And I was like, yeah, dude, that's not fucking life for everybody. No. So, mm-hmm. like, and, mean, but that that's part of the reason why people are so nervous because they feel like they need to wear, like, a, a scarlet letter on, on themselves, mm-hmm. like, if they say that their books are open or, if, you know. What's, but, what's yeah. sad is that this industry's brought this unnecessary shame and don't want to say it's even necessarily on, like, newer, younger tattoo artists, but I've had this this same conversation now with a few people won't name any of those people, but you question them on, on maybe why they aren't getting this booked and you start getting into, okay, so, so what are you doing to, to help solve that? And it turns out they're really not doing too much because they're too ashamed to let it be known that they aren't booked because they're too afraid that these bigger tattoo artists, the, the are booked up three months, six months, a year, two years in advance are somehow going to, have some sort of opinion on the fact that they aren't booked up. So, or have a laugh. Yeah. Which I'm like, dude, if people laugh at you. People make fun of you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But all that happens Your situation is situation in life does not change. No, <laughs> I was, I was actually one of those people where like once I, um, when I graduated my apprenticeship and I started getting, um, uh, books, I, they didn't, I guess they didn't like stack up as quickly as I wanted. Well, I thought people were like the fucking flood dams were like the yeah. dams were about to, artist, let's go. Yeah. 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 And then like on. people would just start coming out of the woodwork and, yeah. you know, it's and not the case. I, it can't, it can't it, be. It literally can't be. So like when I, when I started that, I was just like, Oh man, I'm only booked up for like two, three weeks. And I'm and like my, my fiance, she, she was like, you just fucking started, <laughs> yeah. you idiot. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. thanks, babe. Love you too. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny, the mentality of, of that, of like, well, well, such and such is booked out six months in advance. So so then I must be. And then we go back to the whole like, well, no, this person's been tattooing myself. Ten, 10 years again. Yep. Like, and it's, I have, a, it's a constant battle. You compare honestly. it to any other industry. And I don't see some dude who paints houses for a living. I don't know. Like, these dudes are on there, like, not posting because they're ashamed that another painter is going to be like, oh, look at this guy, he doesn't have jobs. Like, yeah. I don't I don't mind comparisons. Mm-hmm. And as long as they're I think it's fine com- comparing yourself if you're going to go out and do something about exactly. trying to get... Exactly, though. That is, that is the point that I'm making, and I'm not trying to make this some fucking motivational type of thing. Do it. But... Just do it! Grand Just Cardone. do it! Listen, if I'm going to be like, fuck, man... That fucking Cubone I did just got demolished by fucking this Cubone I just saw someone else do. Mm-hmm. Well, time to go play some fucking video games and chill. Because I mean I'm that does sound amazing. Sad. That was, let's go sad. right now. <laughs> or you're like, find me on Apex, motherfucker. Yeah. Anyway, go on. <laughs> I, well, it's it's because like, dude. I mean, when I when I first started, I was doing not good tattoos, but also I knew that I wasn't doing the best tattoos, and I still love them. Mm-hmm. But I remember. This girl, I mean, I mean, obviously you know that fucking the girl that that she just messaged. Got all about it. I told her just now. Um, but she was saying the worst, the worst things. Just like, yo, you fucking suck. You'll never be a good good tattoo artist. You don't deserve to be doing this. You don't deserve to be a tattoo artist. Blah blah blah. I've gone through the trenches. You haven't gone through shit. And I'm like, this girl has no clue. She had nothing. She has no clue that I lived a million worse lives than she could ever fucking imagine. But that's not neither here nor there, but I was like, she's gonna be my gauge because mm-hmm. she's been doing it for ten years, and I was like, I'm gonna go out your fucking neck, and mm-hmm. and and so I told her, I was like, hopefully after ten years I'll be as good as you, but I knew that I'll be better than her in one year, but I made that my gauge though. I want people to do that more. I want people to look at somebody else's work. And say, you did that in 10 years, I'm going to do it in two. Mm-hmm. But that's your personal goal. That's your internal goal, though. Just make that your internal goal. But 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 set those goals and then also hit them. Yeah. There's no, no use in sulking and then also no use in shrinking, too. Like... Especially yeah. when you, especially when you, if you don't post something. I, I, looked, at, I looked at a Cuba and I didn't really like and I posted it. I fucking got like 3,000 something likes. Everyone <clears> went crazy <throat> over it. Got me... 20 bookings, yeah. additional bookings, 
But I was this close to being like, nah, fuck that. I'm not posting it because I didn't like it. No one else is going to like it. Like, mm-hmm. just let yourself breathe just a little bit. Just chill. It's, you know. Yeah, it's it's really difficult. Um, like I said, it's it's mostly an internal battle, especially with people that, you know, struggle with certain yep. uh, mental disorders, um, including myself. And I... Every day is a is a whole like hurdle that I have to overcome and being like, you know what? Maybe it's time to like relax yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, give just, yourself a break, and just breathe, you know. Yeah. Um, tattooing is supposed to be re- uh, a release, you know, in some in certain yeah. cases. I used to get panic attacks once or twice a week. And as soon as I started tattooing, they dwindled down to like maybe i think the last time i had a panic attack it was um fuck it was probably like august or september of last year you know it went from twice a week to that you know yeah, to a few times great. a year that which is incredible very therapeutic yeah yeah it, ink therapy and it works on both sides you know you have the people that are getting tattooed that need that little bit of a release and then you have the people who are tattooing that kind of just need to zone out and forget about everything yep. Because yeah, as soon as I, as soon, you know, I'll have, I'll be having a bad day or I'll be feeling a little anxious. And there are times where as soon as the needle hits the skin, like everything just starts to blur, you know? And yeah. then I'm like, wow, I'm just a hundred percent focused on this, yeah, you know? So, um, when it comes to social media, um, I would say that, like I said earlier, it is a double edged sword. Um, you can you can do a lot with it, uh, you know, in a positive light where, you know, you can motivate yourself and you can motivate others around you. Um, but then with that comes like some of the more negative aspects where you find yourself comparing mm-hmm. your stuff to people who have way more experience than you, you know, so you have to find a balance because there's nothing wrong with comparing yourself to somebody who's better than you. Absolutely not. Um, but when you, you know, think of that consume you dude. Yeah. If you, if you let it consume you, then it's, then it, it, you know, it kind of deteriorates your worth and that's Mm -hmm. where it goes downhill. And that's why, that's why I feel like I said, I didn't want it to be some motivating thing because it's so easy um, as someone who, um, you know, a lot of people deal with um, anxiety, depression. And as someone who I, I feel like I haven't had to deal with that as much, it's mm-hmm. it's easy. It's one of those things that's easier said than done. Like, get your shit together and just... Yeah, go work out. Oh, just, take it first time <laughs> from... And just be motivated, man. Yep. Get the fuck up, man. Like, I fucking... I hate those Instagram videos and be like... You don't like your life? Get the fuck change up, it. bro. You can change. You can do anything you want. It's like, dude, calm the fuck down. I'm pretty sure everybody knows <laughs> it's that. It's okay bro. to be sad. And, and it's, oh, I didn't know it was that easy. I'm just. Gonna oh wait, let me just. Fuck. I mean, I'm guilty. Why didn't I think of that? This I'm guilty for that. This white man just told me everything's fine. <laughs> fuck, I might as well. I think that, uh, but it, it does start with yourself. Where I just, it's okay to feel those things. It's okay to feel those feelings, but just like Joe said, when you let those things consume you, then you look at alternative ways to make yourself happy, which I think is a very temporary thing. You know, it is, it is you, you do consume yourself with likes because it's very quick. Mm -hmm. Comment shares. It's very quick. Right. So you, 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 you jump on that versus the actual thing that is going to help you grow, which is really your art. When your art, gets better people notice that yeah people start to book you up you know but like the only thing thing holding you back is time honestly and time heals all things fuck you joe said these crazy (laughs) eyes we're back around three rise a new new member of the rockefeller record (laughs) and that's what makes it look like hip-hop i don't know (laughs) he can't hear that joe that's what makes it look like hip-hop whatever i don't know let him listen to it dude all right, you fucking selfish prick. Why, There's nothing don't. in there. And that's what makes it look like hip hop. Oh. Inside joke, oh, you want to get the it. The fucking white woman with the. I and went, she's like, and one, and two, one, and bat, and bat, and bat. I once went to a club and 
they didn't have any baggy jeans or sneakers. <laughs> and uh, I thought that was kind of weird because that's what makes it hip hop. I took this from an African dancer. <laughs> And that's what makes it look like hip hop. Well, I would just say, Life's uh, pointless. oh my God, Joe, uh, dude, thank you for coming this week. Thank weekend. you so much, dude. Yeah, it's it was been a pleasure. pleasure. Seriously. You yeah, all are an incredibly yeah. talented individual. Thank yeah, you. You're gonna do and, uh, thank you very much. Big, big, big things in this industry. I can't wait to I'm see. I'm excited about dude, it. Dude, a year in and doing what you're doing, dude. Can't wait to see what you're like five years in. <laughs> Really? Yeah, like I just want to hurry up and fast forward so I can see it. You know what I mean? We were just talking about time, so give me a second. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, truly, dude. I mean, we spoke about this yesterday. It must have been like you talked about like what you have to learn and you're excited to learn from from Mike and and the environment that you're in now. Yeah. And it's obviously somebody that doesn't do what you do and only having very minimal experience in, in the industry. It's hard to look at your work and be like, oh, it's, it's you're doing it. Like yeah. it's hard to see where improvement is, is needed, but it's great that you can look at the work that you are doing and see that like, hey, here's where I can improve. And I think that's really, really important, dude. And that's what I know touches on what we were talking about before is there's not enough people that do that. A lot of people would be happy at half your skill set and be like, cool, I'm a tattoo artist now. I can keep, I can yeah, make me. money from this. Me. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> trying, trying to be there. Uh, trying to do adequate work and make some money. Just... Me, <laughs> Ten nice years. plateau, solid years. average, a solid years. average. <laughs> but seriously, dude, um, no, really excited for you. Uh, thank uh, you. Yeah, seriously, yeah. dude. Thank you very much. Thanks guys. for coming through. And I'm glad yeah, we definitely. were your uh, guest spot virginity. I'm glad we broke that. Oh yeah, you the fucking blood everywhere. Pop my cherry. It's all over the walls. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's all over the walls. Come all over the walls. Thanks guys for having me. Um, I'd love to come back at whatever. You guys. Yeah, whenever you want, bro. You're more yep. than welcome. More than welcome. Yeah. You, bro. <laughs> ba, 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 Joe's fired. Hire him at SatFam. Oh. You're fucking done, dude. Mikey here. Oh, this. no. So there, <laughs> oh, no. Look how sad I am. There's a fucking spoiler alert for you, <laughs> bitch. Mike Jaime. <laughs> Thanks again, bro. I appreciate it. Thanks, bro. It's been Thank sick. you very much. You can find me on Instagram at B-Ride Tattoos. Uh, no, we don't do plugs on this show, bro. <laughs> This, what is it? This, this is our show. <laughs> Get your own. You. No, go on. Go for it. Go on. <laughs> Give it right in that camera. Go. Jesus Christ. I thought I was doing something wrong. I was like, oh, shit. No plugs. All right. We can give shout outs to steroids and shit. Respect. Anyway, right in that Instagram. camera. Instagram. What's your Instagram? Instagram? <laughs> B-Rye Tattoos. B-Rye underscore tattoos. Spell it out for him because there's a million Yeah, people get it wrong. Okay. Jesus. B-E-E-R-Y-E underscore tattoos. There you go. And that's, you can find me hard. in Orlando with the other fucking people, Mike and JP. And with them. the other people. <laughs> the other people. Over at Sad Fam. With the, the other, other people. It's a, it's a whole group of like people who just like anime and are sad. And we're sad apparently. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Every time I go in, I have like this smile on my face and everybody like that's me not and on J brand. JP is the happiest motherfucker dude, on the planet. The, JP, I the said, most dude, ironic thing with I, JP, dude. Fuck I me. said for being a part of something called Sad Fam, you sure is the happiest I've never met a yeah, happier like, kid in my fucking Like life, I'll go dude. upstairs and JP will be like working on, on some uh, like fucking Vegeta or whatever. I'll be like, hey, what's up? And he is just like, yeah, that's the biggest <laughs> fucking smile. Hey, man, what's up? I cannot like, wait to have that guy cool. in this shop. It's going to be a fucking hoot. With his pearly whites. He has perfect teeth. Dude, he has he does have the teeth. whitest teeth yeah, and the whitest hair. I don't like it. I and he's trust, so white. Yeah, I don't trust white people that have perfect teeth like that. I always got to make it look like that. I just don't. Something's up. I can't say shit. I'm British. My teeth are jacked. No, not for being British, dude. For being, Those are pretty good teeth for being British. Yeah. British people fucking suck, dude. <laughs> yeah, you people. <laughs> Talk about you people. All right, that's it, Joe. <laughs> no retaliation. See ya. I don't need it. We all know the truth. We all know the truth. Thank all right, you. let's Bye. call it. Kanye on three. That's what she said. Thanks, bro. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs>